Well, welcome to Dollars and Cents. Look over here. Bruce gets a new suit. I just get a little hat here. That's right. Thanks, Bruce. Hey, Happy New Year. Thanks. Happy New Year to you. And you're going to show us how to do this. Start 2023 with a bang. What Ab do you recommend? Well, here's what I think we ought to consider. I think that if you're in a job that you're just in a job and you want a career, I think now would be a great time to apply for a different job in the company you're at or ask for a raise or a promotion if you want to advance yourself. I think now's a good time. It's a brand new year, so why not? You don't get it unless you ask for it sometimes. That is very true, and I like how you differentiate, uh, differentiate between career and job. Make it mean something That's to you. That's right. Yeah. Look for new opportunities. If you don't like what you're doing, go out and look around. You can go get a job anywhere, right? Right. Figure out what you want to do if you want to make more money. Look around. There's opportunities out there available. <laughs> and don't discount the fact that there's lots of places to generate passive income. Explain now, that. You could generate passive income on the internet. You could generate passive income uh, by buying an investment that generates, whether it's a rental property or something like okay. that. If you've been contemplating it all these years and you've got a little cash and you're a little disgruntled with the stock market and you want something you can drive by and look at or mow uh -huh. or fix yourself, go buy some rental property. We have realtors we can refer you to that can get you set up with that. Passive income is a way to make some extra money. All right. Now, starting a brand new year, it's a great time to visit your budget. Mm -hmm. Why don't we focus this year on paying off debt? Why don't we look at how much money you're spending that you shouldn't be spending? If you don't know where every penny of your money goes, right. you should, and now's a good time to start. Mm -hmm. Contribute to a savings account, if nothing else. You know, we have a negative savings rate in the United States. It's because people don't make that a priority. Prioritize paying yourself in 2023. I think that would be a good first step, right. you might say. Now, how about this? Why don't you have no spend days where you go to work and you go home and you don't spend a dime? I guess you burn gas. That can add up, though. But you know what? You can add it up because it'll help you get more control of your money. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what we're talking about. Save on monthly expenses. I've, I've talked to people a lot about this, especially if you're older. If you're on a fixed income, shop your auto and home insurance, for goodness sakes. The insurance, pay attention. In the next five years, your auto and home insurance insurance rates are going to double, if not more. Now, when we, when we know that, because of what we see with these insurance companies, mm -hmm. those are fixed type expenses, mm -hmm. as the example goes, that you can do something about. You might have to raise your deductible for a period of time right. to save on premium. You might have to make some adjustments that you're not used to. But I think those things need to be focused on because we're talking about trying to be more conservative. You know, the other thing that all of this stuff, it really dovetails into what you've you know, said so many times. Start creating good habits. Yeah. I mean, habits take time to create. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, review your budget, check your spending, know where your, your, your money is going. And if, goodness, if you're not paying yourself, Pay yourself for a change. First. <laughs> do that for one year. Yeah. Hey, I tell you what, do that for 2023, and at the end of the year, let me know how things are going. There's a great New Year's resolution That's right, right there. Okay. Write down your goals and objectives and what's important to you. If you do that, uh, you're going to be glad you did because it gives you a vision of, of what you want to accomplish mm -hmm. in the year. Set up auto drafts. A lot of times that saves you time, frees up uh, uh, your, your time so you can go do other things. Auto drafts are a great thing. Oh, yeah. Split uh, big goals into smaller goals. Don't try to need an elephant all at right. once. One bite Pick at a time. Pick away at it. That's if you it. don't have any money in savings, try to get 500 bucks in savings over the next five months. Now when you get that done, go to the next. This last one. Chat with a financial advisor. You know what? I... 23 years ago, I designed this company to where people could come in, sit down and visit, and don't worry, we're not going to have a fee, mm -hmm. right? Now, you know what? This year is going to be a great year. I think we ought to hit it off with a big bang 
and we ought to call this QR code, call that number, click on that QR code, and we'll be glad to sit down and help you. You can't lose. You're going to be able to talk to Bruce and the people who make this such a great place. That's right. Happy New Year, Bruce. Happy New Year, Tom. It's going to be a great year. Happy New Year.